Corey Finagi, when did you start playing hockey and when did you kind of realize you wanted to do this professionally? Um, well, it all got started when, uh, when we were living in Alabama. Well, we lived in Tennessee, but we went to a, like a semi-pro game in Alabama and we got like a, I guess, like a ticket package with like bring your kid night and all the other kids were running around and my parents said I was just sitting still watching the game, like, like not like all the other three, four year olds. So, I mean, they decided the next, in the next couple of weeks, they wanted to get me in skates and see how I liked it. And uh, first, first time out, uh, I, I think I remember them telling me I was sitting um, <clears throat> in the middle, uh, the middle dot there on crying the whole time. But, but after that, I mean, I loved it. And um, I mean, I, I knew it, this is what I wanted to do when I was like nine, 10. I mean, I love playing the game and I love getting up every morning and skating. I mean, sometimes it took me an hour to get to the rink sometimes. I mean, I couldn't get ice that day, but I mean, when I did get out there, I mean, they, they told me that I just enjoyed it a lot, and, and, I, and I know I did, so that's why I kept doing it. Now, Friday won't be your first pro game. It'll actually be your 10th, but uh, any nerves going into that? How are you feeling before this first game? Uh, I think everybody's got a little nerves going on. It's the first game of the season. Uh, we're tired of playing each other in practice and scrimmaging against each other. It'll be fun to get out there and see some new faces and play hard and play physical against them and uh, show what we can do. Yeah, well, what do you bring to the table on the blue line for people who obviously haven't seen you play before? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm not really the most offensive guy, but I mean, I can jump up in the play when needed, but I, I feel like I have a physical presence uh, in the zone. I, I take a lot of pride in the zone, um, making sure people are not in front of the net and making simple plays. I, I feel like like a D-man should make simple plays and, and know your role on the team. Like some guys are going to be skilled and up and joining the play and some guys are going to be back making the simple plays and getting the puck deep and letting the forwards do their job too. So I feel like that's what I bring to the table. Jeff Jakaitis, one of the Gladiators goalies to start the season. Uh, when did you start playing hockey? Uh, I started when I was about uh, three years old. Actually, uh, I started with figure skating classes. No way, really? Yeah, just to kind of, I mean, at that age, you're not doing twirls or anything. Uh, more or less just kind of getting to know the edges and learning how to skate. And uh, my parents had signed me up to kind of prepare me for preschool and get me out of the house a little bit. And uh, really enjoyed that. And uh, so the next year they decided to sign me up for hockey and then uh, kind of took off from there. So How'd you start playing goalie? And they do say goalies need to be the best skater too, so that kind of works out. Yeah, I, uh, I actually always wanted to be a goalie. I think, uh, you know, when I was younger, the big draw was the cool gear that you got to wear. <laughs> uh, and I actually lucked out uh, on the like mini my team that I played on. No one else really wanted to play goalie. So uh, for practice, we didn't have goalies. Everybody would play forward. And then uh, for the games, they would suit a guy up as goalie. And I usually got to be that guy because no one else wanted to. So kind of stuck with it after that. What are your expectations for this season? Uh, you know, hopefully just to uh, put together a successful year. Um, you know, I've only been here a couple days, but uh, it seems like a really good group of guys, uh, good staff. Uh, obviously, I've played, uh, you know, as a, as a visitor in Gwinnett before, so I know it's a good city, good rink, good fans. Uh, you know, and hopefully we can uh, we can put together uh, some wins and uh, you know make a run in the playoffs. And uh, I think at this time of year, you know, everybody's goal is to, to win the Kelly Cup. So now you've been playing pro hockey for a while. Do you still get the nerves, the butterflies going on the first game of the season? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, it's always uh, you always want to make a good impression uh, the first game you play, and uh, you know the better you play, the guys kind of feel better uh, having you in the net, knowing you can uh, you know bail them out of certain situations and. Uh, just knowing that they can rely on you, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it ever really tapers off. You know, you're always excited to play, and you always get to get a little bit nervous beforehand. And I think that's uh, part of the fun of it. So, Brian Brutlag, a new addition to the Gladiators. Uh, when did you start playing hockey? Uh, I've been playing ever since I was probably five years old. Um, I grew up playing on uh, the lakes in Minnesota, so uh, you know I learned from my dad and then just kind of picked it up and I loved it ever since. Friday is going to be your first pro game and you're kind of joining the Gladiators a bit late here. Uh, any nerves and how has it been adapting to a new team? Um, it, the guys have been great. I mean, um, they've been welcoming and uh, it's, it's easy to fit in here. It's a great, great program, great group of guys. Talk about your style of play. Um, I'm a hard-nosed guy. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get into a couple little spiffs here and there, but it's uh, it's something where you know you go in and you just play hard every night. That's kind of the way I, the way I work. Your expectations for this season, and maybe even just uh, on a shorter scale uh, tomorrow night. 
I'm, I'm just expecting to uh, get used to, to the systems that you guys are playing here. Um, it's uh, it's a little bit of an adjustment changing from one team to another, so it's uh, you know you got kind of got to relearn everything. But uh, I think my goal for tomorrow night is just to uh, to get everything down and play my game.